How excited are you to debut your film at the South by Southwest premiere? Probably the best audience in the world to debut your film. Oh yeah, 100%. I'm so excited for everyone to see it. So Hope we get some great laughs and I'm super excited. Nice. And so this looks like it's probably not your average middle schooler movie. Can you tell me maybe the craziest thing that uh, they made you have you do in this film? Um, well, probably uh, for one of the scenes, uh, we did like School of Rock, and I had to jump from a table and do like a 180 in the air and land on a sofa. So that was that was a lot of fun, and I did my own stunt. So say, you yeah, did your own stunt. yeah, like yeah. Scream, right? Yeah, I felt like Tom Cruise over there. You guys look like you had like the best time on set. How hard was it to not crack up laughing during everything? Actually, out of everyone, I think I was. Uh, I'm gonna throw myself under the bus. I think I was the worst on cracking because it, it was so funny. Because I'm not used to comedy, so it was a whole new change of scene. So it was it was a lot of fun. Amazing. So not only are you kids great, but you guys have like a great supporting cast of awesome comedians. Can you talk about some of the awesome people you got to work with? Yeah, we had Seth on set. It was it was amazing. He was so funny. He's so quick witted, and he's just a great comedian. And I and I look up to him really for uh, comedian wise and like improv. And uh, Jacob taught me a lot about improv, which was a really good thing and a good skill that we're going to use moving forward in acting. Awesome. I hope you guys have the best time tonight. Uh, enjoy and it looks like awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. How do you feel being at the South by Southwest premiere for your new movie, Us? Probably the greatest crowd in the world to debut your movie. Yeah, I feel perfect, actually. Yeah. <laughs> nice, calm, cool, collective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. So, uh, based on the trailer, it looks like it's a pretty outrageous movie. Yeah. Can you tell me maybe one of the most outrageous things that they uh, had you do in this film? Huh. Probably uh, the gag ball scene. Oh, yeah. It was hard to do, like, because I was, like, actually, like, choking, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, it was, like, really hard to do. So... You guys are great kid actors, and then you got to work with some amazing comedians too. Can you talk about the supporting cast at all? Yeah, well, every the whole cast to me, they were perfect. Yeah, they were like the best. I think, uh, yeah, everybody. The thing is, everybody was like really like genuine, nice, and sweet. There was nothing like you know bad or anything. And can you tell me what it was like working with Lee and Jean? Okay. It was super fun working with Lee and Jean. They had these things called alts where uh, you uh, they just throw you lines like out of the blue and they're like super like funny. It was really hard to like keep your like cool and that's it. I was gonna say like yeah. Funny, funny people, and that's great. There was like, really it was really hard to like keep a straight face like the whole time. Who broke the most takes? Brady. That's Brady. Yeah. That's I'm yeah. Glad yeah. Glad <laughs> well, you guys have a great time tonight, man. You yeah. Awesome. Thank you. It's amazing. Guys. How excited are you to debut us at South by Southwest? Probably the best audience in the world to debut. I'm very excited. I was just here last night doing Booksmart, and it was an amazing audience. And so I'm very excited to be here for this film, and all these kids are amazing in it, and I'm just so excited for them. So yeah, I'm very happy to be here. You're kind of like the most adorable kids in the world. Some yes. Of the most filthy things, which is shocking, but also it's so heartwarming. I, mean, I haven't seen the movie. Well, when you read the script. Yes. It's got really positive. It's so, it has a beautiful message. I, uh, yeah, I love the movie because I think it's about friendship. Um, what was the most outrageous thing that you had to do to these children? Well, I think the craziest part of it was that they were learning things as they were going, and so they would get thrown a line, and then Keith or Jacob or Brady would say, Molly, what does that mean? And I would have to figure out if I wanted to explain it or not. Exactly. So that was the craziest part of it. And probably looking at the parents being like, oh, Yeah, but all the parents are wonderful. It could have been a, a shitty situation, and they were really wonderful, yeah. And how was it working with Leanne Jean? They are comedic they're, geniuses. They're comedic geniuses. They're so kind, um, very collaborative. They love improv, so they are wonderful, yeah. How is it going to debut us at South by Southwest, probably the best audience in the world? Yes, so fun. I mean, I haven't met them yet, but I'm assuming they're going to love me. They're going to love everyone, right? I mean... This is your first time at South by? Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah. You are in for a change. Yeah, I'm excited. So, you actually had to try and be mean to these three adorable children. Like, how hard is that? Not very hard. Not very hard. No, no, no. I mean, I they're they're great. Great people, great kids. I um, was stuck in a car with them for three months. And there were times when one of our camera went down and my director was like, you know, work with them. And I was like, oh, am I nannying right now? Because I used to nanny and I feel like that's what's happening now. They're great, but yeah, no, it, it was not, 
it was not hard to be annoyed by 12 year old boys. I'm an older sister. It was it was I, easy. I saw the hydrogen on set in the B-roll. Yeah, yeah. It didn't look like they were handfuls. They're the handfuls. Ladies. I mean, they're little yeah. hams. They're great, but I mean. And how was it working with Lee and Jean? They are comedic geniuses, though, right? Yeah. You know, coming from the office, I mean, I heard that and I was like, oh my God, you must be hilarious. And they were hilarious. Um, but, you know, it was kind of cool because it was my first lead in a feature and it was their first sort of uh, director lead of a, a feature. And so it was... Okay, so explore that together. We did! It was. It, it all felt, even though it was a, it, it's a studio film, it felt very... Um, in, in some ways, it felt very creative and new, right? Like, they're not bored. They're not bored. They're not like, oh, this is our 50th franchise film. They were like, let's do this. No, no, yes. Yeah, they were excited. Well, this audience is going to eat it up. You want I am so excited. I cannot wait. Great. Cheers. I'm very excited. We're like, Definitely to uh, debut a comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope they do. We're gonna find out very soon. I'm a, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, just like you, like my my hands are gonna go like this. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, um, what kind of twisted minds come up with the script that makes these sweet young boys say such naughty things? I, I guess us. Uh, very specifically us. Yeah. yeah. We're just like we want to make the movie that we want to see and I guess this is the movie we wanted to see so we made it and luckily what Twisted Minds financed this movie is really <laughs> the question you should be asking yeah. oh, I was going to but I work for Universal so. <laughs> that's your boss <laughs> you're like alright then we gotta cut this we gotta cut this <laughs> so uh, these three kid actors are phenomenal how did you discover them it took it only took eight, eight months. months yeah Yeah. well Jacob right away and then it took two more uh, to, to find the other two it took another eight months yeah uh, we saw every single kid who has acted or not acted in the country. From the ages of 9 to 37. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you thought about casting Seth that we're winning, sir. <laughs> yeah, he aged up. Seth, Seth came he in, he, he read for it, you know, he shaved he, his beard. Yeah, that was a problem. Yeah. He grew back immediately. So. Uh, while this is quite much and outrageous, Seth is sweet and kind of low message. Can you talk about the awesome message? I mean... That was part of the fun of making it was that, you know, there's all this comedy, but you get putting in, you know, the wokeness, putting in the messaging, putting in the just the, kind of like our politics. We were like putting into the movie. It's fun. It's a way of just we not being obvious about it. But. Yeah, we also wanted it to feel of the time. So it's like you made this movie 20 years ago. It would feel very different. So the idea that these kids are asking for consent and you know like everything like and you can't say that they're very much kids of the time yeah. but they also don't really understand anything so so, so yeah non -woke right. woke kids. yes 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 yeah I, mean, I love that my mom's my best friend like, <laughs> right 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 oh you great know, just the most positive kids in the world. <laughs> you guys are going to oh thank, thank you. you so much thank you thank you so much thank thank you thank you thank you can you tell me how excited you are to maybe your new film, Us, at the South by Southwest all the way to me? I, I'm really excited because I've never actually done a comedy before. So the first time, so I'm really excited to see people's reactions today. So what were your thoughts when you read this script? Yeah, me, me and my mom read it together. So, but no, I, I loved it so much. I thought it was I thought it was hilarious. So it's not only hilarious, it's actually a very Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, there's a lot of comedy in it, but it's all, it's good because there's also some heartfelt stuff. Right here, it's got a great all the way over to me, please. And so, I look like you guys had a lot of fun. On set we did. <laughs> Can you talk about working with your two best friends? Yeah, we just became best friends. We we did other activities like um, we had a big sleepover at my house, and that was really fun. Yeah, we just goofed off all day on set. And then not only are your customers great, but are yeah. Yeah, they're really, they're really, really, really funny. It's, it's really hard to keep in a straight face. I feel like it's harder to, to try not to laugh than to cry. You're a very, you're a very polite person. Thank you so much. I, it's gonna kill tonight. Have fun. How excited are you to debut us at South by? You're kind of home for debuting great comedy. Um, we're thrilled. Uh, we're excited for people to see this movie. Uh, it's 
I think it'll it'll shock and delight them. <laughs> shock is definitely a word, yeah. but delight as well. It's not just a bunch of kids saying bad words. It's got like the most woke message in, throughout the whole film. I found that very amazing. Are you talking about that all the time? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if it was just a bunch of kids being dirty, it would not go down well, but it's got a heart. It would still it's be pretty funny. It was, <laughs> but it also... But we did more. Yeah, we did it, more it was that. important to have a good, real story that has like a lot of emotion. And and when you're a kid at that age, like your friends are everything to you, and it is life or death. What's gonna happen to you as you like go into high school and middle school? And not only that, but my mom's my best friend. Like these kids are the most. They're the like sweetest kids. kids They're very Wait, sweet. your moms aren't your best friends? <laughs> <laughs> Am I alone on I, this, guys? Well, mine is. We got like, we got great three great kids who like clearly come across as great kids. So it's nice it's nice to have that part of the movie. Yeah. And then you also stack the bunch of great comedians. Yeah, I mean Sam Richardson and Will Forte and Lil Rel. Like we like, yeah, we, we try to stack the deck to make uh, yeah. sure every scene is as funny as it can be. I'm all about Lil Rel in this one. I'm yes. big, I'm that big, guy yeah. is. Oh, him and Rita together okay. are so good. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We should. we should make the Lil Rel Rita movie <laughs> spinoff. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you guys. You guys have had great success here, I'm sure, tonight will be another one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. How excited are you to debut your new film, Us, at South by Southwest? Probably one of the greatest audiences to debut in Oh, my God. This theater is magic. I love it. I'm very excited to uh, to be here. I, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I'm excited. Yeah. So you're going to be along with the audience. You yeah. Yeah, like nine years ago, I think it was. This very theater. Oh, my God. It was... I love watching movies in this theater. Uh, I don't know, the South by Southwest audiences are just they're, they're very energized and, and uh, just fun people to watch movies with. So so I'm excited, yeah. So how was it working with little Jacob? He's like an adult in kid's body. He is such a sweetheart. I had the privilege of getting to work with him on my show, The Last Man on Earth. He played a young version of Tandy when Jason Sudeikis uh, came down, spoiler, if you haven't, well, if you haven't seen that, you're, it's on you, because that was, that's his, very old at this point. But uh, yeah, he played a young version of me in an episode, so, uh, you know, he's just a fantastic kid. I love his family, so it, it was very exciting to get a chance to work with him again. No. Well, I hope you guys have a great time tonight. Uh, I saw it. I freaking love it. I think you're. Oh, you've seen it. Oh, great. Oh, I'm very excited. It's so, it's so like. I, I read the script and it's like I couldn't believe that these kids were saying what they were saying because I also. Oh my God, I never even talked about Keith, who was Jasper in The Last Man on Earth. So, getting to to see him and work with him again, you know, I also know and love his family. So it, it's. It's, it's very exciting to, to be a part of this. I feel very, very connected to these kids. <laughs> and then met Brady for the, uh, you know, for the first time on this, this shoot. And he's, he's a super phenomenal actor, too. They're all so funny in, in such different ways. I'm, I'm excited for them. Yeah.